remember to subscribe and hit the bells for notification. But most of all, share our videos so they'll go viral. Hey, it's getting late. A little bit of sunshine left, kind of hot and sweaty. So, good evening anyhow. How's everybody doing today? I kind of had a relaxing day. Had to go and sit and watch a guy put in a couple of garage door openers on the house we're selling. So, we had to relax a half a day or so. But right now I've been uh, inside cutting, uh, trying to get the water heater in. And this does have a steel mount that goes across that all the seats used to bolt in. So I was underneath cutting it off. I think I got it cut. I do have one one by or square tube going across it. So it's an angle brace. So I'm not cutting any of my up and downs. I was able to fit it in between them. So I was underneath cutting all that. Uh, and, and the main thing, you know, protect your eyeballs. The grinder here. I don't have a cover on it. They come with the cover that kind of protects you. And, and it's there for, for a good reason. I've sliced down a half inch into my finger where it bled pretty good and left a pretty big scar. And that's through a glove. But here I'm just cutting through fiberglass. And, and I've been cutting without a guard for 30 years. So if you've been cutting without 30 years, you make your own decision. If you're a young new buck, you better watch safety things until you learn to respect your tools. So they don't respect you. They take off any time they please. And then it's like, whoops, or ow, that hurt. Seen so a few old timers without fingers. Yeah, yeah I guess. <laughs> so just be careful and, and learn your tools. Your tools will tell you what's going on. So just learn to respect your tools because they are pretty powerful. So we're going to go around the side in the sunshine. I, I cut it inside everything and pre-drilled two holes. And something I learned at the very early when I did my bed, or the frame for my bed inside, I used a level. And it sat in the front yard, which was pretty level, but it wasn't level enough. So my bed frame is about three quarters of an inch off level so after that I realized nothing's level so you use a tape measure tape measure don't lie if, if it says two foot it's two foot you know if I'd have used a tape measure and it said two foot and three quarters and I would have not noticed it and corrected it so everything since then I find something to measure off of because there's things on the shuttle bus that's been there forever and you know they're straight and true so just measure off stuff don't don't use a level unless you're got a perfectly level shop to work in then i guess you could use a level but like our road here it slopes probably <laughs> eight inches so that's a lot when you're using a level so we're going to go around the side and start again so these are my holes from the inside and I pre-drilled them out, measuring off something inside, and and they're actually pretty true from, from this edge right here up. So I know that's a pretty good spot. And then I just square off of that, because you know this is a straight line here. So you just use a, a bigger T-square. And, and that way you know at least your line square. So we're gonna, I'm going to try to cut this one with, with this instead of my oscillating tool to see how it goes. So let's hope we don't have a big oh crap on YouTube. We better not have an oh crap on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs>
So that's the fiberglass and they do an overlap and then so this, it's kind of a stiffening thing and you can't really see it because they form it and fiberglass over it but there is a, a kind of like an over, overlap double on some of this stuff. And this is the stuff I was inside cutting. I thought I'd cut pretty much of it. I might have to come down and cut some corners down here. But that's uh, the water heater just going to slide right in there so we can trim this up maybe. You didn't tell me I needed eyewear. <laughs> That's a big hole. Where is this cut wood? this all out it leaves a pretty big mess inside so I'll, I'll, I'll vacuum all that out and clean it up and then we'll seal it once we get it in there I just want to make sure it fits in there so this is our water heater here and it is so this up here is for the the 12 volt to work the propane gas and stuff because this will be propane and then down here, this is for 110. So we've actually got 110 element in this one too. So we can heat our water with solar and our batteries or propane, either one. Well, it looks like it's gonna fit. Maybe. That's kind of how it goes. It does have a cover that slides in and and then it all screws down inside here. So I'm going to see about putting maybe some wood blocking in there or something like that so it can screw to. But there's another major hole in our shuttle bus. Okay, so inside here I actually cut that one inch foam board back and stuck a piece of three-quarter board back inside there so because the water heater, heater screws in on the side so I, I squirted a bunch of the foam back in there first and then put it back in there so I'll let it harden up overnight and then I'll clean this up and slide the water heater in tomorrow so I got it on both sides and I can screw into this one on the bottom the top's good enough if I got it on three sides it ain't going nowhere because it'll be screwed inside too so just thought I'd show you that, how we're, because without this, there's nothing to screw into. And, and like on that water heater, it does screw in the sides. So now we got something to screw to. So I hope you enjoy the sunshine. We're gonna go on to other things and cut this right now. <laughs> Please like, comment, share, and subscribe, and hit the bell for notifications. Thank <laughs> you.